Well, hello everyone. I hope y'all are having a great weekend. I know I am. And uh, yesterday, day Sunday, for the Sunday report, we're going to do a lap steel lesson for you. And uh, also, I'm going to put a link, if y'all will look at the description, if anybody's interested in how to season up your cast iron skillet, there's going to be a link to it, because I'm not going to put that seasoning show on this channel because we dedicated to our music here guitars lap steel keyboards uh harmonica whatever kind of music we can get a hold to and the other channel is going to be more about my farm life and my gardening and uh cooking and so forth and on so i put a link to it and y'all go over there and go ahead and subscribe and that way you can keep up with what's going on with tomorrow you no know, Today I'm going to roast some peppers and I'm going to put up a show or put up on a how to uh, make sweet apple pepper sauce. So with that being said, we're going to play, I'm in an open E. I put the tuning up there, that's the tuning I'm in today, with, uh, my favorite tuning. We're going to be playing in the key of G and what we're going to be talking about is skip stringing and slide. Now, uh, for skip stringing, let me show you an example of it. And that's what it sounds like. And what I'm doing, I'm plucking two strings up at the same time and I'm sliding in like this. And then I'm... What I'm doing, I'm hitting the second and third string first. And then I'm going over to the third and fourth string, like this. Here, I've done it again. Alright, and I'm sliding, did you see it? slide to the C, but I'm going to pause at the A and the B like this. And then I skip over and hit that third and fourth string again. Sounds like this. Then I slide back. And if you want to do you can go to the D and do that. And when I'm in that last note, most time I do a rake across of the top three strings. Like that. And that right there, if you had a pick on your finger, I'm using my fingernail, but... You can do that raking and skip with it, like that. banjo roll style but I'm skipping and I'm just playing the first and the second I mean first and third string then I hit the middle the second one and then raking across for a pretty tune. 
Another thing you can do is slash your bar and give it the sound of. But you hear it, and I'm using the second, I'm just picking up on the second and third string. can also go from the first and the third string. And that's the way that would sound. And that's used in some songs. Same frets, another G, what I was using. They're going to the C and then the D. And I just use a down, pause at the eighth fret, which is the C. Instead of pinching up on the two, I'm
you're playing, try to play it with a musical intent and try to find the one, four, and the five chord, or the one, four, and the five, or the one, the two, four, five. soft and try to voice it. Hear that voice? What I'm trying to stress is when you're playing, play it with a musical intent of some kind. There you have it. And like I said, remember your slants. Keeping your dragon fingers down, that way you can jump like. And I'm muting with the bar coming up. You can mute with your paw. of a ghost is like that and it's all in your hand and your bar movement right there there he is haunted house sound we'll get to that on halloween next month all right i hope each and every one of y'all got something out of my lesson today 
I tried to keep it real down to earth and simple today, show y'all not going too fast. I actually had a backing track created with my guitar to play along, but I played over it right before the video and I realized, wow, it went way too fast for anybody trying to learn a lamp steel. It was more up there on the high speed level. So anyway, thank y'all for stopping by. And remember, if you want to stick around or if you want to look at the cast iron seizing up on a giant fire pit with lard dripping everywhere and getting my hands in it and getting burnt, go down there and click that link below. And if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. It helps people. And y'all have a great week out there. I love each and every one of you.